All right, so we're here with Colin Kuhn of Rocky Mountain Construction, and I just got to say 2018 has been a great year for your company. For first-time viewers, give us an overview of what you've got accomplished in 2018. So 2018 was pretty big for us. Um, we obviously debuted a brand new Raptor roller coaster. Uh, we had two of those open, one at uh, Six Flags in Texas, uh, Fiesta Texas, and one at California's Great America. Uh, those both have been doing very well for us. Really cool, uh, unique design, um, very whippy, really, really fast rides. So we're, we're really happy with how those two turned out. Um, we also debuted Steel Vengeance at Cedar Point. So the tallest, fastest hybrid uh, in the world right now. And um, we've also got Twisted Timbers at King's Dominion. So both of those coasters use our new uh, swing axle trains, which are freaking fantastic. If you if you ask me, they can do a lot more than our uh, old Legacy trains can. And uh, speaking of Legacy trains, we had the Twisted Cyclone at Six Flags Over Georgia as well open. So five, five coasters this year, big year for us in 2018, and uh, def definitely staying busy, to say the least. So. You certainly are staying busy, and not to be outdone, 2019 has a few exciting projects coming out too. So, first of all, you've got a coaster opening up in Japan. It'll be the first hybrid coaster by Rocky Mountain Construction in Asia. So, tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah, so uh, Nagashima Spotland, uh, Hakagui is the, I guess, I guess it's the correct pronunciation of that. Um, but we're, uh, we're doing that in partnership with SNS Sensei, so we are providing the track and trains and uh, kind of overseeing the assembly and construction of that ride. And uh, SNS Sensei is helping us out with um, some of the construction and demolition that's going on over there. So that's going to be a pretty cool ride. It's a, definitely a large ride, kind of like Steel Vengeance was. Um, not, not quite as long, but uh, it's definitely going to pack a punch for what it is. So we're pretty excited about, about having that thing uh, up and going for this year. All right, and another project you have coming up is coming to Wallaby Holland in the Netherlands. So tell us a little bit more about that one. Yeah, so uh, Robin Hood, which is going to be uh, untamed, I believe. We just started demolition on that a couple weeks ago. I believe two weeks ago is when they closed it. And next morning we were there uh, cutting track out and getting it, getting it taken down. So it's going to be a really cool ride. Um, definitely going to also pack a little bit of a punch. Going to keep a pretty pretty similar layout, but obviously we got our RMC twist on it. So it should be... Uh, Pretty exciting, definitely a good addition to the park for them. Um, gonna be pretty fun going over the water and doing a couple of elements over there too, so. Yes, and even further along the pipeline, you have a ride opening up in Poland at Energylandia, and that's actually gonna be, from what I can tell, the first ground up iBox coaster that you've ever designed. So uh, what are you looking forward to with that project and what kind of unique challenges will a ground up iBox coaster bring? Yeah, so uh, ground up iBox, like you said, um, typically we do ground up topper track rides, but this is gonna be the first ground up iBox. So that's, that's pretty cool for us. Um, definitely been wanting to do one for a while. There's nothing that's really kept us from doing that. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be big, tall and fast. So uh, definitely looking forward to getting that thing up and going in, uh, for next year as well, so. Yep. Oh, awesome. So in terms of what other projects you have along the line, I understand research and development is still underway for the T-Rex track. What are you looking forward to with that model, such as what kind of elements can you introduce with that that you can't introduce with the Raptor? Right. So T-Rex, we haven't done a whole lot of development. We've actually been doing a little bit more with the, the uh, Raptor projects. Definitely looking into doing a, you know some custom layouts for Raptor, some bigger, taller stuff with it. We can go up to 200 feet with the Raptor, so we, we, we'd like to do one of those, but um, we'll see what happens there. But you know the first two we did this year were definitely prototypes. Um, they've been running great, though, so we just going to get some feedback from the parks on what works and what doesn't and you know make some changes for the future ones and hopefully we can go bigger taller faster and uh, from there you know T-Rex is kind of a derivative of that so bigger track obviously and bigger trains um, we're you know we're hoping to go we can probably go four or five hundred foot with that if we wanted to whether or not we will I don't know but you know it's it's one of those things where we definitely would wouldn't mind doing so yep. 500 feet would be the tallest coaster on earth yep. well at if they manage to build that polar coaster, that is. But I, I'm just blown away. 500 feet. That's... Wow. I'm just speechless right now. If somebody wants us to do it, we'll do it. You know, there's nothing that we can't really uh, accomplish at RMC you know, with, with one of our products. So, And we'll be excited to do it, too. So. Yeah, absolutely. So in terms of your international projects, is that something you're looking forward to doing, working with more international parks, spreading the word? Yeah. Um, Going international has been pretty big for us. Our first one, I believe, was Sweden, and then we went to Mexico. It was either Sweden or Mexico or Mexico or Sweden. I can't remember. I think it was the same year. But uh, 
Yeah, it's it's always exciting to go overseas. Um, there's definitely a big untapped market over there. You know, with wooden coasters. You know, for, especially for what what we do. And yeah, looking forward to doing more ground up stuff too. Um, it, it's a little bit more difficult going overseas just because we have to ship everything. You know, on containers and got to got to really front load the manufacturing process. But uh, we're learning a lot for the first couple projects we've done overseas, and it's it's definitely gotten a lot smoother. And yeah, going to Europe. You know, it, it'll be great to go over there and and really you know kind of spread the RMC name uh, on that side of the uh, side of the world. Yep. Yeah, and speaking of expansion, your company has grown substantially over just a few years. Has such a big expansion in a short period of time presented any unique challenges for your company? I wouldn't say they were any bad challenges, but you know, we, we're we're putting out a ton of track a week right now and, you know, just as much as we possibly can. We've got a ton of space, but you know, it'd always be nice to have more space, but you know, sometimes you need it, sometimes you don't. Um, we have about 150 employees now, I think. Um, that includes all the road crew and design team. We've got a great bunch of guys, you know, doing the design work here. So uh, a lot of them stayed home, unfortunately, because uh, we, we are so slammed. So, so uh, hate all you guys. Sorry, couldn't make it. But uh, yeah, we we definitely, you know, bringing new people on is always a little bit of a challenge. But we've, like I said, we got a really great team, and you know, we, nothing that we can't handle. So, yeah. Awesome. And one more question. In terms of the general future of your company, what are you looking forward to doing and what kind of elements, like ride elements, in terms of your products now, would you like to take on that you haven't done yet? Yeah. So we're really looking forward to developing the Raptor a bit more. Um, definitely want to, like I said earlier, go bigger, taller, faster with that thing. It would be cool to you know, get some, I don't know, from my opinion, some loops and you know, Cobra Bowls and stuff like that into Raptor. I, I personally like those. My favorite element ever was the Immelman Helix thing on the Fire Dragon at Dueling Dragons. I used to work there, so I'm a little biased. But I'd definitely like to get one of those in a coaster at some point. But Alan's the design guy, first and foremost, so anything that... Uh, comes across my desk is you know come from him first but yeah we're also really looking forward to doing some more ground up ibox coasters um, i think you know being able to build the tallest and fastest hybrid coasters is going to be you know a big big selling point for some parks you know and going ground up is probably the best way to do it so yeah. all right thank you so much for your time this has been an amazing interview and stay tuned for more right here on theme park crazy thank you Don't so forget much to like and subscribe yeah Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for watching, everyone. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe. You can follow me on social media on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, or you can check out my website at themeparkcrazy.com. This is Theme Park Crazy, and I'll see you all next time.